Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Professor David J. Villasuez. Okay, uh, my topic for this uh, morning will be a random topic. And this will be a good concept on, for those uh, who plans to take up engineering or plans on taking up the board exam the SAT exam or the CAT exam maybe because uh, the concept I will be discussing might come out uh, from those I mentioned okay let's proceed this is a random topic and uh, this will help uh, those who are what you call this uh, uh, serious enough to take up engineering as a course okay let's proceed My subject matter for this morning will be a random topic and this will be an addition to my long video format topics. So I place this topic on the so-called uh, long video format random topics on my channel. Okay, so just in case you need the concept in which uh, I will be discussing for this morning, you could go to my random topics on my long video format. It will be there. Okay, <clears throat> the title of the topic for this morning will be uh, The Secret Behind a Shortcut of Square Root Formula <clears throat> uh, I've been watching uh, <clears throat> some short videos and uh, creators are using the so-called uh, formula on how to bring out the square root of any number but uh, the truth of it is that uh, uh, that formula actually was derived from differential calculus so <clears throat> the concept of this formula is that uh, this formula came out due to differential calculus so I will be presenting the derivation of that and how come some other creators are using it without mentioning it okay uh, for me there is no trick uh, if I will be using some formulas I will try to derive it where it came from I will not just bring it out just to uh, make you what you call this uh, believe in what I'm saying for me I will be bringing out this one so it will be the truth that matters here okay i will bring out the truth behind the formula okay okay let's try to bring out the derivation <coughs> uh, this formula is actually the one we are using okay and this formula here actually emanates from differential calculus and for this formula to come out Okay, we will be using our knowledge of differential calculus. Uh, we will be starting with the relation y equal to square root of x. Uh, sorry for that one. Hold on. I, I can open my pen. I'm opening my pen. It's tight. Oh, it's open. I just opened my pen. Uh, we are given the relation y equal to a function of x or y equal to square root of x. It, so it seems we are given y as a function of x. Okay. So to bring out this one, uh, we will be taking the differential of both sides. The differential of y will be dy. The differential of the right hand side this is now differential calculus just to bring out the formula we are using and uh, they are using also but they are not telling it okay it will be one half raised one half times x raised to the minus one half times the x this they put this falls under the power formula so if we try to what I call this, uh, simplify this one without the negative exponent dy should be equal to dx 
2 will be at the bottom. X-ray, so the ring at the bottom have is actually Okay. If we try to multiply this by x raised to one half and this by x raised to the one half, anyway, x raised to the one half over x raised to the one half is actually one, right? But we could do it. So if we try to multiply this one, uh, a little bit uh, explanation, okay? x to the minus one half times x raised to the one half, this will become x raised to zero. So actually, if we try to multiply both the numerator and denominator by this, actually this will be eliminated. This will be gone. So x raised to the minus one half will go underneath. So the simplification will be dy equal to dx over 2. x raised to the one half is two, twice the square root of x. Uh, this is the secret I am telling you because uh, others are using it without deriving it but it seems uh, it's a trick but it's not a trick because uh, this one actually emanates from differential calculus and this is actually a very useful thing because in the computation of the square root of a number which is not uh, perfect we could use this one so the secret behind the shortcut of the square root formula is this one. It's not actually a secret. It emanates from something else and it emanates from differential calculus. And to prove the validity of this, because this will not change. For, for as long as you are taking the square root, approximate square root of a number, you can, we could use this one. Approximate square root. Uh, it is not exact, but it is uh, what that's why it is so called approximation, differential approximation. It's almost the same as the exact answer uh, by using the calculator. An example of this, example number one, find the square root of 103. So to find the square root of 103, we will be using this one. Like what I said, it's not a trick. Okay? Okay, it's not a trick. The solution of this actually emanates from this one. It's not a trick. Okay, what I want to emphasize here is that it's not a trick. Okay, so if we try to bring out the solution. Okay, uh, we will need x equal to 100. Why we let x equal to 100? Uh, I let x equal to 100. Sorry for that one. Uh, I'll get my rest. I let x equal to 100 uh, because 100 is a perfect square. Okay? Then I will let dx equal to a plus 3. Okay? So if I will try to add this one, this is 103, okay, it's 103, I am still satisfying what is uh, being asked, but uh, if this condition uh, I will be using, uh, there will be a dy, a change in the square root, uh, there is a change in the square root, why, uh, because our x is uh, 100, and uh, what uh, it happens that uh, what is being asked is up to the 103. So there was an increment in the number by plus 3. So, so supposed to be, there, uh, there is also an increment in the square root of 103. And to compute for the increment in the square root of 103, we will be using this one. The one they are telling that it's a secret. Because uh, we will not just use any... Uh, formula uh, without telling where it came from okay it's not a it's not a trick it emanates from differential calculus so okay uh, so by using this one we could compute for the increment in the square root of 103 by using this so our dx will be plus 3 and what will be our dy okay 
our dy will be by using this. It, dx is actually plus 3. I put this sign plus 3. Because what is giving us is 103. All over 2. X is uh, 100. So this will become 3 over 2 times 10. Or 3 over 20. Or this is approximately 0 0.15. If we try to use our calculator. So if we try to bring up now the square root of 103. The square root of 103 will be equal to the square root of 100 plus the change and the square root in which uh, we were able to compute it by using this formula. Okay, so the square root of 100, uh, this will be 10. dy is actually plus 0.15, this is 0.15. So the square root of 103 now will be 10.15. Okay. Uh, 103 is greater than 100, so supposed to be the square root of 103 will be greater than 10. And uh, as per our computation, the increment in the square root is actually 0.15, so the square root of 103 will be 10.15. It's not a trick, okay? It emanates from this one. So for as long as you are taking the square root, we can use this one. This is not it. Okay. It actually emanates from differential calculus. Like what I said, using the calculator, the square root of 103 to check the validity of the answer, what comes out is 10.14889. Or if we try to simplify this one, this is approximately 10.15. Same as this one. It's not a trick. It emanates from the study of differential calculus. The formula and how to compute for the increment in the square root. Increment meaning it could either be plus or minus. Okay, example number two for tonight, for this morning. Find the square root of 142. Uh, this is a different uh, solution from the first one. Because uh, our dy here, okay, or our dx is actually a negative one. So if I will try to find the square root of 142, I will let x equal to 144. Because 144 is a perfect square that's nearest 142. So I will take x equal to 144. So if I will take x equal to 144, to satisfy this 142 here, my dx should be negative 2. Because 144 minus 2 is actually 142. Okay? dx is minus 2. So my dy, by using again this formula, the trick they are mentioning, it's not a trick. Okay? dy should be negative, uh, it should be dx over twice the square root of x, right? But, uh, Luckily, uh, this dx here is negative 2. So I must have to place the proper sign negative 2 here. Because dx is negative, the, of course dy should also be negative. So dy now will be negative 2 over 2 the square root of 144. Uh, these two cancels. So this is 1 and 1. So this will be negative 1 over this 2 is got, right? Square root of 144 will be 12. This is 12. And negative 112 is a negative 0 0.0833. There is a change in the square root of the number. Okay. And uh, as per our computation, it should be a negative change. Right. So going back to the original problem, square root of 142 will be equal to square root of 144 plus dy. Square root of 144 will be 12. Our dy is actually negative 0 0.033. Right? Of course, our answer should be less than 12. So, we will be subtracting something from 12 to satisfy this 142 here. And if we try to take the uh, simplification of the right-hand side, this will be 11.9167. So, the square root of 142 will be 11.9167 approximately 
Okay? And to check the validity of our answer, the square root of 4, 2, using our calculator, what comes out is 11.9163, or this is approximately 11.9167. So, the trick or the secret on how to take the square root of a number is actually solvable by using this one. And for as long as we are taking the square root of a number, this will be applied. Okay, uh, good morning from Los Angeles. This is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. So for those of you who would like to watch my channel, this is one of my random topics, long video format. And it falls under the so-called uh, shortcut, okay? It's not a trick on how to bring out the square root of any number. And the, the formula that must be used will be this one. And how to compute for the increment in the square root. It could either be a plus or a minus. Okay, good morning from Los Angeles. Professor David J. Dresden.